happy Simplicity Day. And what does that mean for acts of kindness? We'll get to that in just a minute. Hi everyone, I'm Teresa Ramirez, your kindness coach, and welcome to Journey in Kindness. And to celebrate National Simplicity Day, I thought we would talk about acts of kindness, keeping it simple with your acts of kindness. It doesn't have to be big, huge um, demonstrations. They can just, it's the little things. And it's the little things that gets that ripple of kindness going. Because you have to remember, kindness creates more kindness. And it starts with the little things. And I, I made a list just for today because these are things you can do with your children or to show as an example to your children so that they will grow up seeing just the simple day-to-day -day acts of kindness. And the first one I wanted to talk about was basic manners. Please and thank you. For some reason, I think we have forgotten those basic manners. Um, it just is not coming out as it, often as it used to. So let's bring manners back and reintroduce them to your children. Remind them to say please and thank you. Make sure you're saying please and thank you. It's such a simple thing, but it means a lot. Another manners is opening the door for someone. How many times you're going into a store or to a building and someone is either right behind you, crack the door and ask them, say hey. You have them go in front of you. Again, a basic manners. That's what that all is. And it's so simple and so much appreciated. And remember, you're creating the example you want your children to follow. So a couple other things, and you can have fun with this with your kids, um, sidewalk chalk. If you have sidewalk chalk and people, you know, people walk on the sidewalk all the time, just put a, hey, smile, have a great day, draw fun pictures and flowers, unicorns, things that your kids will enjoy. Uh, so do that, get down on your hands and knees and make sidewalk chalk pictures with your children, sending out positive, wonderful messages, making pretty colorful pictures because when people walk by, it makes them smile. And that's what you wanna do. It's a small act of kindness. You've done it with your children. They're seeing how that reaction goes. Again, keeping it simple and having fun at the same time. Um, leave unused coupons. Say you have a stack of coupons and you're in a grocery store. If you know you're not gonna buy that product and say it's going to expire in a few days, why don't you leave that near the product and then maybe somebody else that needs it can use that coupon. Very simple. And again, someone is going to appreciate that coupon. Pick up litter. You know, always demonstrate being kind to the planet. And that's picking up litter as you're walking down the street or going on the hiking trails or biking trails on the beach, by the lake, wherever. Picking up litter, demonstrating to your children how to be kind to the planet. Um, and why we're talking about being kind to the planet, why don't we Skip the drinking straws. Say you're out at a restaurant or even at home, just don't use the drinking straws anymore. They are not safe for the environment. They do um, end up in our waterways, causing issues for our wildlife. So skip the straw. So simple. And I could go on for an hour on all the simple little things that you can do as an act of kindness and to demonstrate, be the example, be the CEO that you want to show to your family. Want that culture and philosophy that you wanna create within the family. Keep that all in mind. Please comment below, I'd love to hear what you did, what simple act of kindness you did with your children. I'd love to hear. I wanna thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday.